with eyeshadows. Hello. I just added a little bit of guar or gum Arabic, I think is what it's called. And I'm just going to make a little swatch here really quick, try and see how they work. See if they activate properly. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun, actually. And like this little thing only costs like a dollar fifty. They're so like light. <laughs> Yeah, they're like really light. I saw somebody else do some with like pearlescent colors. They were really pretty. So I figured I'd try these. I bet if I let the water sit for a little bit, it'll uh, darken up. Or activate. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of water in each of these. This one right here, I actually use mostly honey for it. So I have no idea if that one's going to be weird. It didn't, it didn't really get hard. I bet you it'll end up being like sticky. Oof. Yeah, they're activating better now. I don't know if these would be too good for just using like normally. They're really, really light compared to like my other watercolors that I have. But they kind of have like this shimmer to them that you can't really see. Well, that's kind of a pretty blue. Ooh, I bet that would be really pretty. I kind of wanted to buy some just so that I could try that with.
Yeah, it looks kind of... I mean, you can, like, not really see the shimmer, but you could see it better in, like, real life, I guess. <laughs> and then I bought some of this stuff, which is, like, that. And I made it. These were all much darker when I had first used them. So I bet if you had like a way to keep them wet, they would be um more vibrant. Yeah, this one is my favorite one, I think. It's just darker. Well, I like these two. If you do try it, make sure to get the, uh, a, it's called like gum Arabic, but don't get the powdered kind, get the kind that's already like a solvent type of thing. Yeah, can you see that when they dry? They're so pretty. It's kind of cool too, cause they're like a really muted color. Well, anyways, I just kind of wanted to test these out and see how they work. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah, the honey one, I think this is the one that's honey. It, like, even in my thing right here, it didn't, it never fully got dry. And the only reason I tried it out with, yeah, see how like squishy that is? Like, yeah, it's not really dry. <laughs> and it kind of is sticky when you touch it too. And I wanted to try it because on one of the recipes it said um, gum slash honey. So I was like, oh, maybe you can just add the same amount of honey and then not use the gum arabic no it didn't work out <laughs> yeah you can get a little bit darker with them too oops i can't really see what i'm doing <laughs> I saw some people making watercolors out of like natural stuff so they went out and they got some dirt and they like sieved it and then they added the gum arabic to it after they ground it with one of those um, pestle and mortars and it looked so cool and then they took some like bones and they put them through a uh, like they put them into these weird pots and then they fired them kind of like a kiln and it turned them completely black and they used that as their black pigment it was really pretty it was by I think it was by somebody called men who paint or something like that but I really want to go do that since where I live we have some like really pretty um, red stones and stuff. So I thought it might be kind of interesting to do a watercolor painting with, you know, the ground that you're, you know, that it's from. <laughs> it's 
So I think these will be nice for maybe a limited color palette. Very pastel, whatever I'm going to do with it. Because the colors aren't super vibrant or very bright or anything like that. But it'll be cool. And the great thing with these that I've noticed is uh, the person that I was watching who had the pigment just specifically for paint, they did not have their, like, they had a lot of problems getting their paint to stay and stick to it. But this, actually, if you look at it, it's not, it doesn't smudge. So you don't have to worry about your pigment lifting up or anything like that. It just stays. It's really nice. Actually, maybe I can like move my lamp a little bit closer. And then it will be brighter. A little bit. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. It's a little bit brighter. So yeah, that's what you get if you use this, these silly little things. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, and adios. Is it patchy? No, it's not really patchy. If you look right here, it's just about like any other um, watercolor that you get about the same. The only difference is the intensity of it. So like, I have some other watercolors that I can use. Here, let me see. I've got like a bunch of different ones. <laughs> so, let's see. These ones right here are like hand mixed from my art shop that I go to and the only difference that I've noticed is it's easier to activate these and they are about the same intensity so it's not super different but these types of pigments are definitely like this one right here is a lot lighter and I think that has to do just with the color of the eyeshadow because even if you look on the box they're not really bright bright intense colors so that's how they go right there and this is the one with the honey one which it did eventually dry but it's like it's sticky it's not smearing or anything but it definitely feels sticky and I think that that would probably happen even if you only put a little bit, just because it has honey in it. These ones don't smear or anything. You don't have pigment smearing off them, which is good. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> And you should definitely try some, you know, you can even just try a little bit and see how it works. I really want to try some with gold, so if it works really well for you, let me know. And then let me know what kind of eyeshadow you're using, because that would be awesome.